all right y'all i got y'all a video and i know i'm like two days late if i'm doing it weekly now i've never said i was doing my videos weekly i want to throw that out there right now but i've pretty much been hitting these up weekly because you know it's just what i've been doing you know what i mean i got some more videos for y'all you know i do but i just had to throw that up there real quick as you can see in the title today we got andrew at versus carol danvers otherwise known as captain marvel this might have been a death battle i don't know this is not where i got it from i got this from a reddit post i saw and i was just like no no way man this this is ever a debate really now at this video like once again i'm not sure if death battle did make this video i want to go ahead and say that back then 18 probably lost to carol danvers but probably not i think we'll see in the video but i don't know i'm not too sure but i know 18 has really got some better feats now with super so without further ado let's get into this video right now get into the scaling of these two ladies shall we overall okay let's do it right now now for the sake of like i don't know just just me clearly liking dragon one more i'm gonna start with 18 just saying Android 18, real name Lazuli, is one of the Red Ribbon Android created by Dr. I just butchered her for real name. Dr. to carry out his vendetta against Son Goku, whereas the other androids are mostly mechanical. 18 and her twin brother are cyborgs, having been forcibly transformed into their current states by Dr. Jiro. When looking at 18, I can immediately say she overpowered and defeated Super Saiyan Vegeta fairly easily after wearing him down back in the Cell Saga. This would easily give 18 small star level uh in terms of attack points just by pulling up the speed then we can say with keys in four super saiyan trunks and go to to try to avoid the attack this is small star level plus feet just saying that out there she traded blows with and overpowered rebrian and defeated lovely love love rebrian after powering her father helped android 17 fight and overran vira could counter blast from base and auxili that pushed back android 17. Now, that would give her low multiversal level power, and that's a pretty big jump from her prior interpretations of attack potency, to say the very least. Looking at Andrew 18's speed, though, she's faster than Krillin, who can fly at hypersonic plus speeds. This would easily give her that level of speed. During the Android saga, while holding back, she managed to match Super Saiyan Vegeta in combat, even evading his energy blast with ease. This would easily give her massively faster than light speeds, overall which is a very incredible jump in terms of speed if i had to say so myself now with those two things bringing out of the way low multiversal level in terms of attack potency and massively first in lane in terms of speed i would say with more feats in super she easily gets into those higher ends of massively first in light plus speeds but she's clearly not faster than that and i don't really think you can make an argument for it but that being said that's definitely Andrew 18 scaling and now we can get into the girl herself, Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel's scaling. When looking at Carol Danvers, otherwise known as Captain Marvel, she defeated Great Hulk, what could be comparable to Base Hulk, who destroyed the entire universe during his battle with the Nameless One, and should be comparable to the Thing, who was comparable to Base Hulk, who one shots Valkyrie, who tanked the punch from She Hulk, with She Hulk also comparable to Base Hulk. Also knocked out Nuclear Man, who withstand beating from She-Hulk without issue, and Harm Rogue, who is comparable to her. Harm She-Hulk, Harm su su uh, Super Scroll, um, who is comparable to or even stronger than the Thing. This would all give Captain Marvel universal level attack potency, so she's kind of reaching up there. Not really though, and has punched Sentry away and hold her own against Thanos, which would likely give her multi low multiversal level. Also, she is likely far higher because she is stronger than her modern self, who absorbed a newly forming universe into herself to become binary, negates the mass of the Phoenix Force and temporarily absorbs and redirects the Phoenix Force. She could be should be comparable to other heralds in her binary form. With that being said though, she can fight and has combat speed with her powers rogue flew from the moon to the earth at roughly 0 0.065 seconds quickly flies to space this would all give her sub relativistic speed also in terms of combat speed she should be faster than her classic self which would be sub relativistic still 
Then she dodges attacks that hit Thor and Iron Man and has been shown to fly at similar speeds to them. Also faster than her martyr self and should be comparable to other heralds. This will easily give her immeasurable levels of speed, to say the very least. With that being said, we now have the scaling for both of these ladies finished, and now we can actually discuss who I think would actually win if they really did throw hands in a fight. So let's get into that right now. When looking at Android 18, I gotta be honest with you, her attack potency is not only more accurate in my opinion, whereas I really do think that if you want to give Captain Marvel her binary form, I can easily see where Death Battle got this battle very wrong in that sense. Now, if you do think that 18's attack potency scaling is just more accurate in its entirety, then you can easily just make an argument that Android 18 wins without too much, you know, you know, talking. You don't really have to say too much, at least in that regard. When it comes to speed, I definitely think if you take Captain Marvel in here, just basic interpretation, she's definitely hitting that sub to at least a scaling line and not really bypassing it. I definitely wouldn't say she's any higher than that, being completely honest with you. He definitely doesn't tire into the faster and like speeds. But like I said, if you want to take that other feet of line of scaling into account where she would should be faster than her classic self and well that was just so realistic my bad she dodged attacks that hit thor and iron man and has been shown to fly a similar speech to them also faster than martin so it should be compared to the other heralds the other heralds being the bigger part of that line this would indicate immeasurable levels of speed just because of how fast the heralds are but even then, the Iron Man and Thor scaling kind of depends on what Iron Man and Thor scaling you're going by. And if that's the case, then you can argue that she does jump into those massively faster than my scaling. Now, I do think that there is no way you can, like, degress. I do think Captain Marvel definitely is faster if you take the Herald scaling into a complete effect. So, yeah, Captain Marvel is at least thousands to hundreds of thousands of times faster than android 18 who is just barely cracking the massively faster might well not even cracking really my bad hitting the high end interpretations of massively faster might she doesn't have infinite or insexible speeds and that's like really bad because that's like two tiers lower and not even just looking at tiers alone she gets like really badly blitz especially if she has immeasurable levels of speed even if you just say captain uh, like captain marvel or carol has just like i don't know inaccessible levels she's still like ridiculously faster so keep that in mind she's like ridiculously faster than her and in terms of attack potency if you give like her binary form um yeah captain marvel definitely wins and 18 definitely loses because she's just so much faster that even if the attack potency is equal, it wouldn't really matter, so to speak. Because, I mean, at the base level, we did say the 18 and her highest interpretation is low, like, you know what I mean, multiverse level. And although that's great and all, Carol is arguably stronger in her binary form and was hitting those levels even in her highest interpretations. So I definitely do think Carol Devers... Um, I don't really remember because like I said, I don't even remember if Dead Battle made this video, but if they did, I don't remember who won, but in my honest opinion, I definitely think that Carol would win this fight with all that being said. So yeah, 18 uh, does not win this in my opinion. I just think the scaling just is just more for her. Carol has done more and yeah, I got Captain Marvel winning. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit the red subscribe button, hit the like button. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks. Um, I can never say this enough. I never say this enough. Thank you. I'll try to get back to the videos. And uh, yeah, Carol Denver's, otherwise known as Captain Marvel, is the winner. Sorry, Dragon Ball fans. Sorry, team. Don't give me the comments. And I am out. Have a nice day, guys.